takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 120 pounds. Fighting out of North Hollywood, California, Iron! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for You ready? You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice punch there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right hook to the body. Oh! Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick lands. Beautiful body kick. 
mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice leg kick land. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to school. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Big kick lands. Oh, big left hand there. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Single collar tie now. A nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Takedown defense holds up. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Over and over, he landed with a big body kick. Head kick. Oh! Just misses there with the left. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. With it. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Pretty good right hand. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Big ball from punch land. Now let's get back to range. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, he's the tall fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. A single collar tie there. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Nice job, man. Your counter striking is pinpoint perfect. I want you to keep that up. You're chopping him down and breaking. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. 
He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Leg kick. Lands a nice one, too. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Switching stances here. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, spinning back kick. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Head kick. Nice loop of punch. Oh, a huge block there. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. Ooh, what a punch. in reach. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He loaded up there with that high kick. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh! Head kick. Just misses with the punch by Lee. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Continuing to work the body to great effect. 30 seconds to go. Twenty seconds left. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice sneaky head kick. Ten seconds. Oh man. That jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'll tell you one thing, it does not feel good. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC talked us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish.
Rounds are going to come hard, so he's going to be ready. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Whoa! That's the fight thus far. How's his opponent doing? Changes his stance. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Real quick leg kick. Good kicks there by Lee. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Blocks the shot. Nice blow, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? Try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Lee gets back up again. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Nice punch lands over the top. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, man, head kick lands. Trying to establish that jab once again. Great punch landed with so much power. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. Back and forth we go here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in coach. Look at the turtle in that kick. Big leg kick land. Oh, good kicks. Another leg kick land. Beautiful strike. Going orthodox now. We can win this round. I need you to get the takedown. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to score. We'll finish this fight. He's attempted to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Kick to the body is blocked. And he 
caught the kick. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Great, no more strikes. No more, no more, no more, no more. Great job with this combination. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick land. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big bottom kick land. There's no give on that leg kick. Nice punch land. Nicely done defensively to avoid the double leg takedown there. And they separate. Big power shot there. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Caught that kick there. Big kick land. Look at the land. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the ball, but he's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. My goodness. Nice kick. He's, he's limping now. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice defense there. Huge block. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's got him hurt bad! Lee getting worked here from the top. Let's see if he goes for a sweep to try to get back to his feet. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. He's hurt bad. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some bad strokes. Yeah, the ground and bomb will be a plenty from this position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. 
All right, feet on the hips here. Back to his feet. Ooh, what a head kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. What a tricky head kick. previous round, it was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, he, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Beautiful leg kick. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, big shot land. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, and he counters effectively with the kick. Oh, yeah. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Keeps going back to that jab. Oh, oh DC, would you look at this? The Imanari roll out of nowhere. And now right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. Oh. Looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? No when to hold him, no, no when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. Visibly limping here. him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Spinning back fist. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. That's a big strike right there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big head kick lands. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Let me see that hook now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Now connects with a right. Keep your hands up, Come on now. Let's move. Let's 
nice head kick. Good stick. Real nice body kick lands. Gets up again here, but hurting. Beautiful kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Less than a minute now to go in the fight. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. All right, so it lands another punch there. Oh! oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Nice. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Able to check that kick as well. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Lanza glancing right hand upstairs. Nice kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand.